one. Welcome to Stockhouse. We like it, the Man United direction. And today we're just going to do a review of the weekend, what's going on, who's winning, who's not winning, who's going up, who's going down, who's going to Europe, who's not going to Europe. And today I'm done with the controversial one and only. Bams, welcome to the show, brother. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> right. As a United fan, we all watched the Man United, the FA Cup final yesterday. Man, Liverpool and Chelsea. Second and yep. third in the Premier League. It went to extra time. It went to penalties. Mm -hmm. And Liverpool yep. won it again. Just like the Carabao final. Yeah. What was your take, mate? Well, that's... Uh, it, 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 it was defeating. It was uh, very, very painful um, to see our biggest rivals uh, go at it again and still come out on top and still be successful. It hurts. It, it, I'm not going to lie. It hurt really bad because <laughs> I was... When it went to penalty, I was like, man, I just, I just hope... I just wanted them to miss, but they kept making, they kept making, they kept making every single one of them. And in fact, when um, Mane missed, I, I thought, your mind. I thought when Mane missed, I was like, yeah, there's a chance. I was like, okay, when Mane missed, but then Mason again, Mount. Mason Mount, I was like, oh man. So it, it was pretty much, you can't miss, uh, to, as in, I mean, the goalkeeper tried, he kept them in there by, by, by saving Mendy. Mane's PK. Mendy tried, but there's nothing else. He can't do more than what he did. He just needed his, his, his the rest of his team to just keep putting their, their uh, PKs away. But, uh, yeah. But, I mean, at the end of the day, man, you look at Liverpool, man, they are mentally strong. You can tell that these guys are relentless. They believe that they can, they can get, they can believe that they can win every single time. There is no... Like there is no weakness in the mentality. You can tell. That's wow. why they. That's why they they, they. they just kept putting it in. They kept putting it in. They kept putting it in. And, they, and you look at Allison. Allison was confident too. You see, it's just that team is just it's uh it's gonna be a hard team to beat, man. And and it when and the more they keep winning, the more their confidence keeps to grow. I, I don't know if they can get any more confident than this. But it's sad. They. Uh, then today, all attention was switched over to Manchester City, who were away to West Ham, a London team that's fighting for top five, top six place. You, when City went 2 0 down, most United fans were like, ah. Liverpool fans were celebra celebrating early because they thought yeah. West Ham had done it. Then the table turned. What was going through your mind at 2 0 down? At 2 0 down, man, because at that point in time, yeah, you, I mean, you're looking at West Ham is going to be our savior in the sense that, okay, not, not West Ham. City is going to be our savior in the sense that, okay, well, they'll keep West Ham winning that game. See, if City win, won that game, they'll keep keep them from going above us. But And also, at the same time, City win that game would pretty much put one hand on the title. Yeah, they only need that um, point from the last game. So, so it was, it was. I was like, oh, when I start 2-0, I was like, oh, man. It, it, you can't, you couldn't write it any, you couldn't write the story any differently. It was just like, uh, I, I, I was... I was starting to, like, oh, I was almost crying. I was like, "Oh man, this is this is not gonna happen." And then you had to recover from City, yesterday's one. Well, Chelsea, oh, now this again. <laughs> this would be double. This would be double blow, man. Double blow yesterday and today. And then obviously City came, but I, I always had, I always had a, a, a belief because I just didn't see City is in going dropping throughout that points. game without at least scoring a goal or mm. or even dropping points. So. Mm. They came back 2-2, and then Maris had the opportunity to, end to the seal game. it as in end the game 3-2. And then uh, um, he missed. I was like, oh, damn. But in actuality, I look at that game, I think the 2-2 was a fair result because there was an opportunity for West Ham to seal it 3-1. Um, Mikel Antonio missed. He missed a, pretty much a sitter that will put the game 3-1. So, and then Maris missed to make it 3-2. So I, I think... I think a point, I think is a fair result. Because right. uh West Ham defended well. City obviously attacked and attacked and attacked. So I I I think I think I think a point was fair in that in that. Right. So um which is which is okay. We can live with that. Now City just have to win their last game. At home they to Aston Villa, being managed by Gerard Steven Jard, ex Liverpool captain. Yeah. He is planning, will plan to make sure. Man City do it, they will get players falling over the floor, causing yeah. injuries, killing time, frustrating City, even though the yeah. games are the empty hat. But 
Yeah. He will do whatever dirty trick is in the book to frustrate City. But City, I know they're a professional outfit. They're in front of the, the trophy. They're going to they're have the trophy at yeah. MTHAD. And if Liverpool win on Tuesday against Southam, they'll have a replica at wherever. They have the yeah. at both sides. Yeah. So as it stands, I, can mm-hmm. Liverpool beat Southampton away? I could see them getting a point, something there. Of course. Southampton at home. Of course. Yeah, of course they're going to beat Southampton. I, I I don't see why they can't beat Southampton. I don't see why they won't beat them. So Southampton, <laughs> you don't think they could do what West Ham did, try and surprise Liverpool? The thing is, what is, is, is Southampton playing for anything? Is the question. No. So Nothing. there you go. If if Southampton was playing for something, then I can see I can see the determination for them to want to win that game. But I'm I'm not saying they they won't want to win the game. But when when a team when when you make when you're trying to predict an outcome of a game, you got to look. Okay, what what does this team have to lose? What do they have to gain? That kind of gives you kind of an idea of okay, what what the chances are. It's not it's not a guarantee. But yeah, if Southampton had uh, something to play for, I think. I think the chances of them being How about Liverpool playing for pride, little... your last home game of the season? Yeah, play for pride, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, you can play for pride, but I'm if there's <laughs> nothing to play for, if there's nothing to play for, why, why bust your ass when winning the game is not going to change anything and you could risk an injury and that could delay you getting fit and ready for the next season? Damn. Trust me, if there's nothing for them to play for, well, are, you, are you saying I, they're just gonna I, I, I lie down? Are they just gonna go, you think they're just gonna lie I'm not saying spanked. lie down. No, no, no. They're not gonna lie down and get spanked. They're gonna, they're gonna go to the office and do what they do. But they won't. I don't expect Southampton to be going all out for that. For that, uh, um, is an extra tackle that, that is in sprint a little hard. I don't see them sprinting going over and beyond the sprint a little harder. <laughs> I, I just don't see that. Happen. I, I, I might be wrong. I but hope I you are, my brother. brother. I hope you are, brother. I hope they're going to try and, like, you know, I want to have, I want us to have a say in where this title goes. I want us, yeah. in, in the years to come, Southampton did a job. I want them to be part of history. But the thing about it is that, well, I mean, well, yeah, you have a point. You have a point. That, that's, but I don't think they care about that, man. I think Liverpool have won the game already, bro. <laughs> wow, psychologically, bro. Dang. Yeah, so I think they won the game who, already. Who are Liverpool playing at home? Who's Liverpool's last game of the season? I don't. I, I don't know. I, 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 I haven't checked yet. I haven't checked yet. Because that, if that, they're be both home them. games, City, so it's Anfield and Empty Hat, final games of the season. Both mm-hmm. Premier League titles. Will be, they'll play replica at the original at Empty Hat, replica at Anfield. Yeah. If Southampton beat Liverpool on Tuesday. Man City are champions before the final game. Yeah. If Liverpool draw, all all you know, all 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 uh, uh, City need is a draw. If Liverpool drop two more points, all yeah. City, all needs, City a, needs, a, a needs a draw. One point. One point. And, and 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 I think they could get that comfortably against Aston So what 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 we should be praying? We should be praying that Southampton. This is what it is. We should be praying that Southampton. Get something against Liverpool. One, we should also be praying that City do their business and win against and win against the uh, uh, um, Aston Villa against Aston Villa, which I think they can. It's just my fear now is that they have so many injuries in the back. I, I don't think they have a healthy centre back right now. Wow. Oh well, sorry. They 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 they, they do have a uh, uh, Nathan Nakay, but I don't know if he's hundred percent. But yeah, their their starting centre backs are are um. Are injured. I think Laporte's injured. Diaz is injured. Wow. I don't know. I I I don't think Stones because because they played. Diaz didn't play today. I don't think Laporte played either. Hmm. Yeah, that's that. That's the fear. It's just about it's the defense. Right. That's why West Ham was able to do what they did because the defense right. wasn't. Yeah. Hmm. So, wow. As it is, United. We 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 are home away to Crystal Palace. Last game of the season. Yeah. Can United get fifth place? No, no, with Spurs and Arsenal. Okay, United can only get six. No, we're not getting fifth place. Fifth place is gone. The best yeah. we can finish is, 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 is sixth. Wow. The only way I see us finishing sixth is if West Ham, um, is if West Ham 
draw or, or lose the next game. If West Ham draw or lose the next game, we are six is guaranteed because we're not going to win against Crystal Palace. Yeah. I, I'm I'm taking Crystal Palace as a I'm taking the Crystal Palace game as a, as a loss, wow. pretty much guaranteed loss. Well, wow. that's deep. So as it stands, Liverpool have won two trophies out of four trophies. If they hopefully don't win the Premier League, this is just for United fans perception and City fans because if Liverpool win the league title I could see the confidence going to win the game and win the Champions League then they will be the greatest team of all time yeah if they beat Madrid in Champions League final yeah wow I still think there's a twist in this story man there's always a twist that like they said like the uh, uh, um, there was a like they said the um the uh the uh, commentators always said that there's a like like two games like two two games ago they said well there's a twist in this in this title race um that there's going to be a twist before the end is in and we've seen one of the we've seen that twist already the twist with is Ham. with West Ham but i think i think i think there is i think there's another twist in the in the story to come right i, I think there's another twist I, I i don't know which way that twist is going to go we just uh, um I don't know, man. I, I don't know, man. But it's it's it, it just scares me, man. It scares me. I, <laughs> it scares me because yeah, I mean, if they if they do that, it'll be under the watch of this United squad, man. They, I will say, this is the worst bunch of players that I've ever seen. That I've ever they've ever played for United. The worst bunch. I won't be surprised. Do you, know what, do you know one thing also? Do you know one thing also? Yeah. Well, this would be the lowest points total in a season oh, in, in, oh, yes, on the yeah. Premier League. Yeah. And did you also know Liverpool came fourth last season? They barely made top four by United losing. Remember, they beat us at home 4 2. Yeah. That mm -hmm. got them the ticket to top four. Yeah. Look at Liverpool now. Look at us. We came second, remember? We were runners yeah. up of the Premier League. Yeah. Yeah. Look at us and Liverpool this season. We could have started basically. We gave, we gave, look, I just want fans to look at it this way, right? This squad gave Liverpool the tickets to do what they're doing this season. 100%. We, we gave thank them, you, we gave them you, the tickets. Thank you. We gave them the tickets to be in a, in a quadruple, is in race Platform. this season. Oh, yeah, 100%. All we needed to do was just beat them last season, is in last season. And they wouldn't have got, well, it wasn't, it, it would have hurt their chance of getting Don't Champions fall. League. Yeah. Look at them now. Look at us. We were the remember final. we came second. We came second yeah. to Man City. And all these fans who keep talking, oh shit, all oh, this, this and that, man. You gotta really look look deep into this. One stuff, guy man. said these... Ole should not be fad. I like, are you off your medication? Are you well? <laughs> no, I, I I had to go there with him. I had to go medically, like. Are you well? I, I, I'm not sure. Are you on medication? Because maybe you haven't taken it to bring you up to date with reality. That guy was exactly. an absolute loser. He had no... He was he a was joke. Cl cl a joke. He was a joke of a manager, man. Because, the, the worst manager. He's, he's, not a, he's not even qualified to be a manager, man. They do don't know how to do shit. Look at what Rafa said this week. I want to have... I want to... I mean, let me get my head around what Rafa was saying. I would like to sit down uh, Ten Hag, Ten Hag, to see if I'll be, to, uh, no, uh, to be guaranteed team, to be guaranteed starts. Guarantee yeah. you what? When does a team, a player, start asking a new manager, I want to be guaranteed the place? Bro, you better get your lazy backside and start working hard and start getting yeah. your mind right, mate. Yeah, yeah. What, the, what cheek, what the audacity to say, I need to know if I'm going to get ready. What the, where are we in today's football? Whereby a player has to know if I'm not getting regular T football, I'm out of it. Bye, bye. <laughs> no, that's where we are. Yeah, yeah, that's where we are. You're, you're right. After, that's where we are. As after a... the shit you served us, you're asking, you want to see if we guarantee a starting place? Get the fuck out of here. That's where we are it's today. Sad, man. That's where we are. These overprivileged, overhyped, over pampered players. It's, it's, I mean, it's, what it's, did you think of that it's, statement? It's... Oh man, that, 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 yeah, I, I, I'm not surprised. The thing is that that this is this is why this is why I fear 
that the club is is, is still not changed. I don't because like like the thing about it is that Rashford should not even be allowed to like that coming out of him. I I, I think the the club should should discipline this guy, man. Like what what why who gives you the right to to say oh I need I need to have I need to have guaranteed like be guaranteed starts next season or I, or I'm gonna leave or what, what whatever you're saying. You have no rights to say that, man. And the thing about it is that the club are not gonna is in the club obviously want to keep Rashford. Oh, they're gonna want to hey Rashford. Okay, let's let's talk because I heard that I heard that they want to talk about is in getting him to sign a new contract. This is why I say I don't believe that United has is is is, is has really changed per se. I don't believe all this. Yeah, we got Ten Hag. Uh, yeah, we're they're firing some of the backroom staff. All that is just action. It, it's just it's just them doing stuff. I, I I don't I still don't believe that we have really made a complete U turn. I might be wrong, but stuff like that where Rashford still further is in proves my argument. Like you know, how the hell Rashford saying all that stuff? That's that's rubbish. Omni, Get out of here, after, man! After they need to the sell it. You had you want guarantees? This oh, ain't Oleg on a social, mate. Yeah, it's, 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 I mean, he has no right to say what he's saying, man. He has no right, man. After the, after the shit season, he's, he's saying, oh, he wants to, he wants he's to be a guaranteed starter. He's even been considered in the uh, squad, mate. Then you yeah. work your way up. The club are not making any better by wanting, by wanting to talk to him about getting a new contract signed. Because that's what I heard. This is, uh, this is man like today. Just That's what I heard. How, how do you, how do you reward a player that had a shit season, a new contract? What if he turns around and has another shit season next season? Then you're stuck with a dude. It, it'll almost be like, like, like a Phil Jones type situation, just renewing players' contracts to keep their value. That shit. Oh, that they got to stop all that nonsense. They they got to stop it. Uh, so as as it stands, United are gonna finish sixth. Is that Europa or Europa Conference? Oh no, it's not. It, we're not gonna. It's six. It's not guaranteed. It's not. It's not guaranteed right now. Six is not guaranteed. Six is not. Six is really not guaranteed. All 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 West Ham need to do. I don't know who they play in, in in the last game. I don't know West Ham playing in the last game. All West Ham need to do is win their last game and then then sixth position because we're not gonna win. For us to be guaranteed sixth. We have to, for us to be guaranteed six, we have to win against Crystal Palace. Because we're at 58. I think they're at 56. With it, this point it. Game, took them to 56. If they win their last game, they go above us. Or if they draw, they equal, they equal on points with us. But they but they got the better goal difference, so they make it anyways. I see we have Spurs. to win. I see Spurs are uh, really out there. They won today, didn't they? Yeah. After destroying Arsenal, they won today. They, remember, this is the Spurs team that took a went to Anfield and got a result, got a point out of there. Yeah. Where we lost yeah. 4-0. Yeah. This you saw Everton today uh, lose to um Brentford. But that I didn't watch that game though. I, I, I they didn't, lost I, I, three two. They, they had ended up with nine men. They got two men sent off. Oh shit, damn, and, that's, that's and, bad. And, and this was the same Everton that beat Man United in the same ground. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the football is a funny game. I mean, so, I mean, uh, what's uh, um, Spurs is the same team we beat, we beat them twice this, this, this season. We got six points off of them. Look at them now, but look at them now. <laughs> look at them now. Like, like, how the hell is a team that we beat twice? We, we, that's that, that tells you how shit of a season we had. That tells you how many games we lost. We, we would have to have lost that many games for teams that we beat twice to be ahead of us. I keep He's telling saying, you, we normally, have lost, I think, 10 games in the Premier League. 10. Yes, yes, I think so. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I'll, I'll check Homer it. to Massey, that's what they're for. Watford. Yeah. Leicester. Yes. Brighton. Yes. Uh, Aston Villa. That's where the nine. <laughs> we lost to Aston Villa? Yeah, oh, uh, last, minute, last minute, Old Trafford. Uh, 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 what's his name? Put the penalty over the post, Bruno. Under, was it, under, 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 oh, under. yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. What was it? A loss or a draw? 1 0. Oh, we really? lost 1 0. Lost at home. Oh, shit. God yeah. damn. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, even the manager who, who was manager for Villa, he got sacked five games after that match. 
we lost that again at oh, home to Wolves. Yeah, yeah, we lost yeah, that yeah, we, we lost that game at home to Wolves when uh, Luke Shaw did not cut the cross out. Who's that big guy? Who, that muscular guy who plays for Wolves? Black guy. Who's that he went. He, uh, Luke Shaw let a jumper right cross. Phil Jones headed the ball out just to the centre circle. Martino was there. One zero three points. They left Old Trafford. We lost at home to City. Uh, to man to Liverpool, to 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 Wolves, to Villa. We lost. We lost. That's four games lost at home. I I, I want to say there's one more. There's one more. There's a couple more games we lost. Some Leicester I, four, I, I four, just... four four one four two away to Leicester. Wow, and, and obviously we lost. Uh, obviously we lost. Uh, Watford uh, um, yeah, four to one for two as well. Watford. So you know what? Wow. While we're here, let's just write it down quickly. So, Liverpool home and away, that's two games, right? Man City yeah. home and away, that's two, that's four. Aston Villa, that's four. Aston Villa won. Watford, we lost. Leicester, we lost. Who else did we lose? Brighton. Brighton. We lost Brighton. Brighton. So, that's four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, Everton. We lost to Everton, yes. That's already uh, nine. Who else did we lose to again this season? Uh, wait, in the on. West Ham, we didn't lose to West Ham. Hold on, let we me check. To... I'm going to put my phone on. On portrait, real quick. Let me check my phone, real Four, quick. Four, five, check. six, Hold seven, on. eight, nine. Arsenal, ten. Yes, we lost Arsenal. Yes, ten. That's Arsenal. ten games lost so far. That's ten. I remember. That's ten. We we could calculate. Who else did yeah, you lose? Ten. Again? ten Wait, games. Hold on. I'll get that to you in a second. Okay, we lost. Okay, Arsenal, Liverpool. Okay, we lost Everton. Uh. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, you're right about Wolves. Oh, uh, I'm not. Did I write Wolves? No, we did not write Wolves. Wolves. Oh, we did write Wolves? Watford. Wolves, nine, yeah. nine, 11 games we lost. Wolves, Watford. Yeah, Wolves, Watford. The games we lost. Dang. So uh, four, that's, five, yeah, that's six, it. seven, that's eight, it. nine, ten, eleven games we lost this season. Eleven. That's 33 yeah. points dropped. Yeah. 33 points. Yeah, that's that, that's it right there. So how many games? And, and, we, uh, does it show how many games we've drawn this season? How many we've drawn? Oh yeah, yeah. We we drawn, we drawn. Uh, so okay, yeah. We've lost eleven. We've drawn mm. ten. Ten. So we've drawn ten. And we won so, so ten. Ten games drawn, which is uh, out of so out of ten of those games, which is exactly thirty points, we've taken ten points. So we have dropped. Let me tell you, we have dropped a total of sixty-three points this season. Sixty-three. Mm-hmm. 33 games lost, uh, 33 points out of the 11 games we lost, and we've drawn 10. So, out of the 30 points available for the 10 games, we took 10 points. So, out of a total of 63 points, we took 10 points out of 63. <laughs> <laughs> That's Not even right one there. third, mate. Not even one third is 21 out of 63. We took 10. Yeah. That's embarrassing, bro. That's, nah, that's it's bad. fucked it's bad. up. It's bad. And, and, I, and, and I don't know why why, why people... We could even lose oh, in the game number 12 Olin. against um, Crystal Palace. Oh, I, I think we're going to lose. My thing is, my thing is, I, I don't see why, because there's a lot of talk about, yeah, Ragnick. Ragnick is a, he's, he's, he's BS. He's not a manager. He's terrible. We've, we've done worse under him. I know results have not been, been, been good under him, right? But then people are saying, well, I guess we should have kept Ole. Oh, well, uh, uh, I mean, if, if it's going to be this bad, we should just keep Ole. But, man, I just want people to understand that Ole is a big reason why we're in this mess. Yeah. He, 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 he didn't hold those players accountable. No, he, he did he not. Was, he, was, he was too buddy-buddy with them. He allowed yeah. them to do whatever they wanted to yeah. do. There was no, like, there was no accountability. No, nope. like, he, 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 he was... I mean, and then under him, obviously, they is in the players weren't weren't coached well. It, it was he didn't develop the players. Nope. He he, he, he it was it was bad. This this it right really was bad. Was bound to happen because I mean, he, 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 there was no hold on these players. We lost so many games when he was here. We lost to Liverpool. We lost to Leicester. We lost to Watford. It was going down. Like the results was getting worse and worse and yeah. worse. These players. These players were not really playing for him anymore. Over two legs and you're saying, this season, United have lost 9-0 to Liverpool, 8-1 to Man City. Now, 6-1 to Man City, home and away. 
That's 15 goals against two teams, and you've only scored one. Bro. Wow. That's, that's a, 15 goals against two teams, only score one. Yeah. That's bad, man. <laughs> that's bad, man. Uh, that's bad. That's bad. It's 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 this 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 season. I'm I'm just tired, and I'm not saying Ragnick is the answer. I'm not saying Ragnick did did good. I'm I'm, I'm not saying that. All I'm, I'm saying is that Ragnick 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 didn't have this. There's only so much he could do. Yep. The players no CGM, the place that checked out the place that checked out a long time ago. Yes. We didn't get Ragnick asked for plays in the transfer in the draining transfer window. He wasn't given that. Ragnick had a style of play he wanted to play, and the players didn't were not able to execute it. So Ragnick let him play the way they know how to play. Yeah, they couldn't and, they could, and, and, couldn't and, keep, and, keep up the high press. Yeah, they, they can't keep up the high press. Ragnick Ragnick threw them on the bus, which they deserve to be thrown in the 100%. bus because, they they, because they're name. shit. So I mean Ragnick. The, the good thing that Ragnick did was he gave us a lot of insight to what's going on with is in uh, um in that club, mm. and people are not appreciative no. of the fact the only, the reason why we're in this position has a lot to do with Ragnick. If Bruh. you don't, you, you might not like it, but it is the truth. I'm Rio you, said he should truth. not be spilling out. Bin, it shouldn't be. It should keep things internal. I said really, yeah. you keep things internal when your club is doing well. This team yeah. needs to be exposed. This need and 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 and, and this and this is a guy. That has, I mean, in fact, he has so much to lose because he's trying to keep on. He wants to stay as a, as a consultant, right? He has, he has that to lose, but he doesn't care. He wants to let everyone know what's going on. He's letting everyone know, and people are not appreciative of that. They keep calling him. Oh yeah, I mean, they they keep talking about his his, his result. Oh, he's the worst manager ever. Come on, look at the. Look at the bright side. Look at the just, just, just look between the lines and see what you're getting from Ragnick. He's he's a builder of football clubs. He's not a he's he's he's, he's, not, he's not a manager. You have people like Jurgen Klopp and and Tuchel in them giving praises and saying like they owe their careers to Ragnick. But but the English press and some United pundits and some United fans say he's the cause of the problem. Get the fuck out of there, mate. So, but they didn't say that. They didn't say all that BS when when Ole was here. They kept no, their they mouth didn't. shut. Yeah, so when Ole was faltering, none of them called Ole out because they're his teammates, and that's not fair. Yeah, like it's you, you call you complain that fair. if he's wrong, he's wrong. Even Andy Cole had to say, you know, social something's got to give. This cannot continue. It it, 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 it couldn't continue. You can't lose yeah, at home yeah. to five zero to Liverpool. I don't care how how great Liverpool are. You don't just lose at home to Liverpool five zero. Exactly. Bloody hell, mate. <laughs> right. It's sad, man. It's so, sad. What do you? What I was do you expect? ask you? Yeah, go on, bro. What do you think? You, you think we're going to win against Crystal Palace? You think we're going to draw? What, what, I, what's your I, prediction I, I, against? I'm thinking. Them? I'm thinking we'll take a two-two there. Two-two. Uh, you're very optimistic, bro. No, the, no, it's not even optimistic. It's a case of. <laughs> um, it's a case of. It's the last game of the season. You just got yeah. hammered four zero by Brighton. The least you could do is save face. You know, you know what you need to just save face. I'm, I'm, I'm I hoping think... I'm believing they could save face and go. They're like, you know, let's just let's just go out, go out with a bang. I heard. So I heard out with a lot these, shit show. <laughs> I heard these players. I heard the. Uh, I there heard was a fight. That the players there. That yeah, I heard there is a fight. I heard the players. They don't. They don't really have the. Con they don't believe they're gonna win against Crystal Palace. I heard. Uh, uh, um. I heard that a lot of them have checked out already because they're is in their 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 mind is pretty much they're looking at the summer, what is it whatnot. So they're coming back two weeks earlier than before. So they should better yeah. enjoy that summer quick. I, see, come back Tim, quick. I will be surprised if we win the game against Crystal Palace. I'm going to tell you that I will be surprised if we draw. I will be surprised. I don't think we're going to win. I don't think we're going to get a result in that game. I think we're going to lose. Wow. I mean, if we lose, I, I won't be surprised. It'll just be um, another game we added on, which will be game number 12, 12 games of the season that we've lost, and which I, is a record, an absolute record, mate. And I think, I think we will not make, we will not make Europa League. I think we're going to be in the Conference League next season, which which is we very well deserve that. We don't deserve to be in the Europa League. I, I, we, I, we, we don't deserve to be in the Europa League. That, that, that's the, the truth. You see the record? 
This will be the first time in 20 years Ronaldo has not played in Champions League. 20 years. That's something and, else, bro. And, and it has a lot to do with these players. And a lot of fans keep saying, oh, uh, 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 I mean, it, they, they, they keep one, one they they keep blaming the managers, blaming Ragnick when, and and two, they were blaming Ronaldo when Ronaldo was the only person. They, I, I'm I'm going to say this: if it wasn't for Ronaldo, do you know where United will be this season? I think mid table, bro. I think mid table. How do you say mid table? I I I think I I think I think mid table is uh is is too. Uh, that's too high, bro. <laughs> so you're just saying, you're saying just hovering you about just the relegation, just hovering around. So looking more like uh, I, I think you, I, I think United will probably be around 16, 15, 16th without Ronaldo this season. All you need to do is just go on the table, right? Take our points. Look at the games where United. Look at the games where we won because of Cristiano Ronaldo, and just take those points away, and see if where we we'll be at. The table. You could just take the Spurs. The Spurs and Norwich games, he scored six goals in both games. Just take those okay. six points out. That will reduce United uh, further back there. <laughs> to about mid-table, right? There you go. That's just and two games. Just two that's games. That's just two games. But, I, but I'm sure we could, we could find other games where he was, he, yeah. he, he was Norwich, the reason why we won. Norwich, he scored the last big penalty. We won one yeah. zero. That's another three points. Okay. That's nine. Okay. Which, okay. Uh, which other game? Uh, against Arsenal, he scored two at Old Trafford. We won 3-2. Take those two goals away. We lose 3-1. We lose 2-1. That's another three points. That's 12 in four games. That's just 12 points I've taken out. Take those 12 points. Just take those 12 from United's counts. That, that right, let down me see. To 12 from 58. Let me see. Take us down to 46. Let me see. Let me see. We would be... Oh, actually... We would be, yeah, we won't. It, we, we actually won't be that that low, but we would be around. Uh, where, where were 46 11. points? Where 40, where, who's on 46 points? We would be around 11th. There's, uh, yeah, we'll be 11th. There, no one's on 46. It's 45 and then 48. So we so would be at 11th. 11. We'll be in 11th position. That's just four games that on top of my head. That four yeah, we'll games be in 11th position. Head. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's just four games on top, yeah. And I'm sure there are other games. I, oh. I, I would, I, I would I'll say take another ten points off that. Yeah, take yeah, another I, ten I, points. I, I, take another ten points off that. They take oh, us down bro. to thirty six. Where are we? Where would thirty six points be? Bro, we would win the relegation battle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's relegation battle. Because That's relegation think about it. battle. As much as they're saying Ronaldo, remember we would have lost Mason Greenwood either way. We would have lost Mason Greenwood either way. Cavani yeah. ain't playing. So who's striking? Marcus Rashford ain't going to be playing center forward. That is not going to happen. Yeah. Man. Oh, man, this is bad. This is bad. It's terrible. Bro. This is like terrible. Said, this is terrible. We're going to do uh, end of season. We're going to do end of season. So I'm going to have Arsenal, Spurs, Liverpool, all the team supporters I could get on. I'll probably have about 15 people on. And we're going to, like, tell us how your season went. Good, bad, however the season ends. We're just going to go talk about it. Sonny's going to be, I'm going to get two, but I'm going to host a ladies' night. Whereby I just ladies on, Man City ladies, Man United ladies. And if I could find the Liverpool, but if it's just two of them, or just Man United and Man City ladies, just talk yeah. about a season. It would be great. Because it is good to have female perspective on how bad or how great the season were. Hopefully, well, yeah. City fans, City ladies will have, Something to cheer about, like the EPL champions, than Liverpool being EPL champions. You know, Klopp yeah. has won the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup. He's won a Premier League. He's won a Champions League. He's won a Euro European Super Cup. He's won a World Club Championship. He's won all the trophies available. Do you know the the other manager that they won all those all those trophies? Sir Alex. Yeah, but this is the well, problem. This... Sir Alex won it all. But the problem there is, look at Ole saying it's not about winning trophies. He was trying to talk, use that against um, against uh, Jose when Jose said, "I won three trophies at United," which he was justified in saying. Mm -hmm. Man United is a team of trophies, so that yeah. Ole saying that trophy disguises thing. 
when Ole said that's when uh, Jose Mourinho made that statement, he, we had 81 points that season and still came second behind Man City. And that's Man City got yeah. 100 points that season. Have mm-hmm. we even got 81 since then? No. Nope. We, we were laughing at him like saying, oh, he was, this was the best achievement because he knows the caliber players he had. And yep. this was a better team. And this, exactly. This was a better team than he had back then. He had Fellaini. And people, oh man. Think about he it. He had Smalling. He had, he had Smalling. Smalling. He had uh, Smalling and Jones. And he had uh, Herrera. He was, so it was Herrera. He did it like, it was a big R- player. R- he well, played well, well, uh, Fellaini, I- Matic and Bogba in midfield. Yes, two yes, slow guys yes. with one, one with uh, Pogba the bat in, in front of them. I will say he did have a better midfield than we have right now, though. Kind of, yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, he had a better midfield. He had a better midfield, but I would say the defense. Jones. I don't know how they. We had Ashley yeah, Young Jones and Valencia on right back. Luke Shaw yeah, left I, back. Oh no, Ashley Young sometimes played left. Valencia played right. Yeah, then right. Jones yeah. and Smalling in the middle. It was Jones and Small in the middle, yeah. It was Jones and Small in the middle. Mate. And he got second. He, he got second. second that season. Yeah. And uh and, and when he uh and and, and, and so I, it, the thing is it, it's it's it, like people just need to really just go back and really look at what what is what has happened in the past and just really look and just really just 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 evaluate, man, and see and see like and compare to this season. We we th- this season was bad, but it's it's not I I I don't think like if you put if you gave Klopp or Pep this team to manage this season, I don't see I, I can I I I don't see Pep or Klopp getting this team like getting more out of this team. This team is this team this team is dead. When, when I mean dead, <laughs> like completely dead. He said this team is dead. <laughs> this com- this team is completely dead. <laughs> like like it, it's you know. it's. Oh man, it's it's, it's just it's it dead, hurts. It's it toxic, hurts. it's lazy, it's, 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 it's weak. dead. It's just I don't poor. And, but and, I and think people, and, I think United yeah. fans this season started to realize. I think this season was more of a reality check. Because I said that second position we won last season, it covered over so many cracks. Uh, oh, yeah. Think about it. Liverpool were not the best last season. They came fourth, uh-huh. they've just made fourth. Look at Liverpool now, a full Liverpool squad. What? Hey, but Tim, they're trying to get the ball dribble. But Tim, but fans said, oh, no, you can't say that. We got second. We got second. And I've, I've always been saying, like, that second position we got last season, we played, in a, we played in a season where it was behind closed doors. That wasn't reality. That was fantasy. So, to me, that second position last season, I mean, yeah, yeah, we played behind closed doors. There were no fans in, in the stands. Liverpool was 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 terrible. You had a lot of teams, and Chelsea was terrible for for at least half of the season Dude, until they got Chelsea. Tuchel. Yeah. So imagine we play if we play last season in front of fans. I'll put it this way. Okay, you know what? I, I leave it behind closed doors. If we played last season with Chelsea and Chelsea having Tuchel from beginning of the season. And Liverpool not having the injuries they had, we would what 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 would that put us? Fourth or fifth. Fourth, fourth or fifth. But fans will say, "Oh man, you can't say that, man. We got second. We got second. We we it was it was deserved second. Man, forget yeah, that wasn't. shit, man. So, so so if you look like I said, fans have now microscopically enhanced the vision of man out to like, damn, these players are really bad. They can't I, I, defend, I, but, they can't pass. So it's like fans just Tim, it's like a reality, it's like we all snapped out of reality. Like we, Tim, some of us have been Tim, saying, like, this team is bad. But no, no, I, no, no, no. I, I, They don't believe, but but I still see I still see fans blaming the manager. Of course. Blaming Ragnick. Uh, yeah, they, they're still, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they still blame Ragnick. said they don't listen they, to him. Yeah. In in the group, they still blame they, they still blame Ragnick. Of course, 100 percent I I I don't I don't know why. I'm not saying Ragnick does not take blame for the results. He does take blame. He could have, the he, he, results were not good. And when results not good, yeah, the manager's got to take. But I'm sorry, the players take more of this blame, bro. I, I the agree. players take more I of agree. the blame than Ragnick. I does. agree. I 100% agree. Them players were poor this season. Just look at some of the defending. You got to ask yourself, like, come on. Look at Brighton. Do you, 
How, Look at how, the Brighton how, game. How, Just the Brighton game alone tells yeah, you everything. E- exactly. Like, the thing, okay, there is no way Ragnick told, told these players to go out there and not defend. Like, defending, like, there's some, the way we defend this season is just, there's just one-on-one standard, like, things you, you don't do as a defender. How do you blame that on the manager, man? How do you blame that on the manager? It's just like players saying, oh, Ronaldo the cost. Is Ronaldo the cost of the defender's job messing up? He's in up front. How's it got to do with him in the back? These people were just and stupid. Said, and they said, oh, Ronaldo is the, he's the problem in this team. He, he, he is a problem. But without him, we won't be, <laughs> we won't be in this sixth position right now. That's no, for mate. sure. No, mate. 100%. No. Oh, man. It's, uh, they said, oh, that Ole was trying, at least Ole was able to get these players to play. So at least Ole was able to get these players to get better results. Better results. But, okay, if he was able to get the, the the he was able he was he was able to get the players to at least is in is in to get is in better results or even play better. Then why was he sacked? He was sacked because he was the results was going to shit. <laughs> he he would have still been here if we were getting results. This this is this is what I keep saying. After the season is gone, we've all seen it. But if you look at the, the players. Look at the mistakes they make at the back. Look at the poor defensive. Look at the misplaced passes. The, mm-hmm. If you look at the goals we concede, you're like, bro, you could have tracked that guy. You could have followed that guy. Yeah. Look at, look at the game at Anfield. We lost 4-0. We're 2-0, we're 2-0 down with 10 minutes. Across down the right, Maguire followed Mane. He, he, he steps back. Giving Mane enough time to turn around and spread the ball down to Alexander, uh, what's his name? You know, the... the uh, Alexander Arnold, Trent. Yeah, to cross the ball. And who's in the middle? Mm. Uh, Lindelof is not sure where to go. Uh, that's Ronaldo's fault? Exactly. They blame Ronaldo for that. Man, it's some, some shite. It's just some... People talk some bullshit, man. I, I, I just don't see how they... How they how they can open their mouths and say what they say so when... tell me when how you... Benz wants the season to end. In, 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 in your top four order, how do you want the teams to finish? Just the top four. Just the top four? Yeah. Okay. Um, I was... Uh, 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 um, City. Champions. Liverpool. Runners up. Chelsea. Third. Spurs. <laughs> you don't want Arsenal. No, nah, I don't want Arsenal. <laughs> you don't want Arsenal then Why not? The thing is, but the only... But the, but the thing about that, but in fact, you know what? I take that back. I don't mind Arsenal taking fourth because if Arsenal take fourth, that means Conte would be. I I I, I don't want because if if Conte gets fourth, the chances of him staying is going to increase because he he will want to play. That means uh, um he's he's going to get more funds to be able to spend in, in the transfer window. Obviously, you make the Champions League. That's more. That's more exposure. That's more revenue, right? And uh, uh, um, obviously, and, 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 and he he wants to get more players to improve the squad. If they don't make top four, I think his chances of him staying reduces because he's not going to get the amount of money that he wants to be able to improve that. Uh, um, improve that. He, 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 he might still stay, but I think um, I think him. I think we need to. Yeah, I think I think we need to pray that Spurs. Get fifth and Arsenal get four because four. So, I, I know Arsenal, regardless of getting uh, um, making Champions League or not, I, I think Arsenal is still gonna, I think they're still gonna deflate eventually. Um, uh, most United fans, the predictions are Man City champions, Liverpool runners up, Chelsea third, Spurs fourth, Arsenal fifth, West Ham sixth, Man United seventh. That's how the, the prediction, but top four City champions, Liverpool runners up, Chelsea third, Spurs fourth. That is most Man United fans because most Man United fans think Arsenal fans yeah. give them too much of a hard time considering they beat us 3-1 and again whereby yeah. we should have won but Bruno put his penalty it is the rest is history. I, He's missed two penalties and, this season. And, 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 and I will, I, yeah, he, he's, he's had a terrible season and, oh, and I will say this. The reason why I, the reason why I, I, I would prefer Arsenal to make uh, get fourth to the fifth is because of Conte. Because if Conte gets what he wants to improve that squad next season, we will be competing 
right? With Conte having a better squad, yes, he's built the chemistry with the team. That is pretty much next season, you could pretty much kiss top four goodbye. I, I think most Man United fans at this point, we just want to see a total rebuild. Um, good football, putting putting a system together that works. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer had no system. It was sit back, soak out the pressure, and do counter. Even at home against the smallest teams. I'm sorry, mate. That's not football, bro. Can't be playing counter attack against Sheffield United at Old Trafford. What yeah, kind of football is that? Yeah, but fans, they uh, they uh, they stuck by Ole so long, and because Ole was was Ole got well, Ole, was, second, Ole was, was a legend as a player, and even mm-hmm. in his playing days, he wasn't a regular starter. People don't remember. Yeah, that. he was a bench player. Yep, he yep. only came on. He played, he started games when they were resting the regular players. The, in the treble season, the main strikers were Andy Cole and Dwight York. Sheringham, then Socha. Socha was exactly. number four. They had four strikers. Four. So they yep. rotated them. But the mm-hmm. main two, York and Cole. Yeah, York and Cole. Yeah, the main two. Yeah, yeah. That's true. When things are not going well, they bring in Ole. Yeah. Because he's always, he's always good at He's always he was always good at reading the game from the bench, yes, and knowing where to come and impact the game. Yes, that's why they they he was nick he was nicknamed the super sub. Yes, because he always. But as a uh, manager, I, yeah, he as can't a manager, read shit. he was nah. He, he can't he can't read shit. As a striker and a player, he was really good. Yeah, he's one of the best. Uh, one he, he's he's one of the best best uh, uh, mentors to have as a striker. He, yeah, he's, he's really good. And you would have thought. Our strikers yeah. would be one of the best coming from him, but obviously not. Yeah, I, I didn't kind of, see him that's... improving Marcel. I didn't see him improving Radford. So what did he do? That, that's true. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't really improve him per se. I, I think the only thing he did was like development wise, it, it, like he 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 didn't develop them into better players. No. All he did was he because there I forgot what season was that was that that wasn't last season. I think it was the season before where. Our our three front guys, um, Martial, Radford, and Greenwood, all all finished with twenty. What well, not was it 20, 20 goals each um, something along that those season? Lines. I think yeah, that was. I think that one. I think that was him. Just like we came, we came third that season. We came third that season. That was a really good season. That was the um, that was attacking. the season of the uh, uh, COVID. The COVID, yeah. That that's when COVID just kind of started, and then uh, we were in lockdown for a little bit, and then. We came back from lockdown and we, we, fire. we went we went from like fifth or sixth all the way to the third, I think. Yeah. 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 I, we, I had think that, we had that. Uh, we even had the Igalo. Igalo. Igalo was there too. Yeah. Yeah. Igalo Ole was didn't there play too. Him, yeah. Ole didn't play him as much as he should. Yeah. No, he, man, Ole had issues, but people don't really. Well, Bems, it's been an absolute pleasure with you today. You say always, as always. is. Uh, we had some good, we had some shocks this weekend, which we are still hoping the shocks come to settle. As Chelsea, we're going to congratulate Liverpool for winning the FA Cup. We can't knock them. They won the FA Cup. Uh, uh, City dropped two two points away to West Ham. It's never an easy place to go. So we'll see. City is still in their hands. All they need to do is beat Aston Villa and their champions of England, regardless of... That's all they need to do. That's all they need to do. But uh, Villa and Steven Gerrard will do whatever it takes to try and... Stop that from happening, but we'll see. Football, always, I, 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 we just all hope City can do what they need to do. End of story. Because if Liverpool will win the league title, they have 20 league titles like Man United. So the song 2020 mm. will be done. Gone. Yes. Bems, it's been a pleasure again. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Always. I'll see you join us and make getting us to the 4K. That's where we're heading to next. So your little bit helps by you just subscribing if you're watching us right here, right now. For us, it's good band. Good night, Bems. We'll see you next week or anything midweek. Anything comes up, we'll let you know in advance. Everyone, brother. You take care. Always, man. Take care, man. Thank you. All right. Yeah, take care. Bye.